Session 5. Errors, Safety and Maintenance Since the syringe pump is a life-saving electronic equipment, it needs proper safety precautions and maintenance. Some of the common situations are described in these videos. Handling the syringe pump Do not carry the syringe pump using any part of the syringe piston. This is rough handling and can damage the device. Always use the handle on the top of the syringe pump to carry it and place it gently on a flat surface. Electric hazard. Power cord care. Do not unplug and leave the power cord on the floor. It may get wet and conduct electricity creating an electric shock then or later. It should be kept off the floor and away from any liquid. Stacking of syringe pumps and avoiding stands with IV drips. The syringe pump may be kept on a flat surface with possibly other syringe pumps stacked over it. Do not stack the syringe pumps more than four high. This is dangerous as they may topple over or solutions may leak from above to below. Sometimes syringe pumps are also clamped onto stands. If this is done, Make sure the clamp is tight and secure and the stand doesn't have any IV drip hung over it as well. If the IV fluid leaks, it may damage the syringe pump and also be a fire hazard. Loose connection Whenever there is any loose connection in any of the tube connectors or the three-way stopcock, leakages may occur and also some air might enter. This could be dangerous for the patient. So always take care to make sure the connections are properly engaged and the outlet caps are tightly closed. In this case, the outlet cap of the three-way stopcock needed to be tightened. Cleaning of the syringe pump The syringe pump needs to be regularly cleaned for reasons of hygiene as well as trouble-free operation. To clean the pump, first take a piece of gauze pad and then wet it with isopropyl alcohol. Start cleaning it from one side of the pump. But never clean the screen or the touchpad with this solution. Always use a dry gauze for that. Now clean the back of the pump. As you can see, the pump is cleaned and it is ready for use. Reporting errors When the syringe pump isn't operating correctly and giving an error that you cannot fix, file a complaint by calling the helpline that exists in your facility. The device will be collected by the biomedical team. All information needs to be given to the biomedical team. Here you need to fill out details like the asset number, description, model number, complaint description, date, time, etc. Then inform the biomedical team. They will fix it and fill in the relevant information from their side.